Hey boss, here's your day one stuff, man. Okay, the string closest to you, paradoxically, not paradoxically, counterintuitively, is the sixth string. That's also your low E, and the string furthest from you is your first string, that's the high E. These are the same note, two octaves apart. The guitar is tuned in fourths, so if you go up the musical alphabet four, you arrive at the next string. E, F, G, D, A. A, B, C, D. D, E, F, G. This is the one exception, it's a third. G, A, B. And then B, C, D, E. So start with your right hand warm-ups. Play each string four times with downstrokes. Etc. Then do alternate picking and play them four times with down and up strokes. Down, up, down, up, and then change. Calling out the string names as you go. Uh, then you can practice just downstroke strumming. That means all six strings. Not too tight, not too loose. Add the upstroke. Go back to the downstroke. Let's see if you can just do the upstroke. That's called a shuffle, like this. segueing between those three rhythms is smart. Uh, let's talk about your left hand a little bit. Um, now you're going to play your minor pentatonic scale on all six strings. You just trace the dots, except you skip nine and you play ten to twelve. And twelve, of course, is your octave fret. So all the open notes hit their octave at the twelfth fret. So take your first finger and play the minor pentatonic. I'm going to double each note as a variation, but make them swing so the first of the pair is always a little longer, like this. Put that in all six strings. Uh, then you want to play bad using that riff. So you're going to go... Um... So when you get to the fifth fret, you're going to use three fingers in a row. This is called chromatic. Make it a blues and just modulate to A by shifting down to the next string. And back to A. I mean, e. Okay, so that's the same space for the second riff I taught you, which is superstition. Put your third finger down one string onto the A string, seventh fret. Prepare your first finger right behind it on the same string, and the riff sounds like this. And the only chord that I taught you today is called a dominant seventh, otherwise just known as a seven chord, A7, G7, etc. If you play this note, which is an A, and you build the chord this way, first and second finger with a string in between them, and then your ring finger on the G string, this one you want to pluck out with your fingers, because it's just three out of six strings. Um, start by just playing some downstrokes, and then just move it around. You can move it one fret at a time basically do no wrong with this chord. Um, but now we want to put it to the course of superstition. So if I give you the root notes, which means the lowest note of each chord, that's played by your first finger, that becomes your little guidepost. And it goes 7, 8, 7, 6, 5, and then to 7. So um, now I just put the chord to each of those root notes. When you believe in things that you don't understand and you suffer It's kind of weird to pluck this out, but you can strum it with your thumb. Superstition ain't the way When you believe in a thing that you don't understand and you suffer Superstition All right, dude. Have